it's a force entry on an outward swinging door, we know that because the hinges are exposed. There's no doorknob or nothing on this one, so it tells us pretty much that we're going to find that we have panic hardware on the inside. On this type of entry, what we're going to do is we're going to put the ads in the jam. It's a two firefighter operation. The second firefighter will go ahead and strike it and bury the ads in the door. And then we're going to create some gap by, by leveraging down on the tool. And then we're going to try and pry out, hopefully get enough gap. your typical residential inward swinging door. The idea of this one is one firefighter, all right, either above or below the lock. You're going to get a purchase with the ads. You're going to use the jam in the door and you're going to try and blow out the back of the jam and force the door in one firefighter. Here is an inward swing door. So the idea here is the firefighter is going to take a baseball swing. They're going to bury the pick in the jam, create a purchase point. Then they're going to force the door in by using the ads by lifting the bar up and forcing the door in. And that way they're going to blow out the back side of the jam. One firefighter maneuver. Typically on a standard wooden door, a little extra force is all that is needed to open the door. However, be aware that when forcing a metal door in a metal frame, striking the door will only succeed in deforming the door while leaving the lock intact. A well-placed baseball swing will split the door jam, weakening the area around the lock before any leverage has been applied. When forcing a door using the baseball swing method, the greatest force is generated by leveraging the halogen bar horizontally towards the door. If this is unsuccessful, the bar can be leveraged vertically, either up or down, to try and utilize the longer throw of the ads. Strikes here. No, you, might have, you might have to go in this way first, get it in, and then it'll start coming towards you. Yeah. try and get a bite on it? Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Ready? Once a gap is created, the maximum leverage is obtained by burying the ads into the gap and leveraging the door using the interior door frame as a fulcrum. basically go through the lock here. We got a deadbolt. We're going to use an officer's tool that has a lock puller on it. We're going to try and drive that down behind the cylinder, use leverage against the cylinder, pull that piece out and retract the bolt.
many lightweight wooden doors can be defeated by knocking out a glass or wooden panel and unlocking the door. Remember to secure all forced doors by disabling any self-closing devices and wedging the door in the open position. Just... 